The main diagonal of a square matrix is the diagonal line of entry starting from the upper left corner down to the bottom right corner. Formally, the main diagonal of a square matrix A consists of the entries A sub i j where i is equal to j. The entries where the row index and the column index are the same. A square matrix A is upper triangular if all the entries below the main diagonal are zero. Formally, a square matrix A is an upper triangular matrix when the entries A sub i j are zero for all i greater than j. Any entry with a row index greater than its column index must be zero. A square matrix A is lower triangular if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero. Formally, a square matrix A is a lower triangular matrix when the entries A sub i j are zero for all i less than j. Any entry with a row index less than its column index must be zero. The terms upper and lower refer to the location of the non-zero entries within the matrix. In an upper triangular matrix, the non-zero entries lie in this upper triangle that includes the main diagonal. In a lower triangular matrix, the non-zero entries lie in this lower triangle that includes the main diagonal. A square matrix A that is both upper and lower triangular is a diagonal matrix. Here, every entry outside the main diagonal must be a zero. Formally, a square matrix A is a diagonal matrix when the entries A sub i j are zero for all i not equal to j. A diagonal matrix only has non-zero entries on its main diagonal. Consider this square matrix. Is it upper triangular, lower triangular, or a diagonal matrix? Here is the main diagonal. Are all the values below the main diagonal zero? Yes. So this matrix is upper triangular. Are all the values above the main diagonal zero? No. There are some non-zero entries above the main diagonal. So this matrix is only an upper triangular matrix. We know it's not going to be a diagonal matrix, since it is not both upper and lower triangular. Here are four square matrices. Take a moment to determine if they are upper triangular, lower triangular, or diagonal matrices. Feel free to pause the video to classify them on your own. Let's go ahead and classify them quickly. The main diagonal of each of the square matrices is now highlighted. If we look at the entries below the main diagonal, we see these matrices only have zeros below the main diagonal, so they are upper triangular matrices. These other ones have at least one non-zero element below the main diagonal, so they are not upper triangular matrices. Now, looking at the entries above the main diagonal, we see that these matrices have only zeros above the main diagonal, so they are lower triangular matrices. These other matrices have at least one non-zero element above the main diagonal, so they are not lower triangular matrices. Now that we have determined if any of these matrices are upper or lower triangular matrices, we look to see if any matrix is both upper and lower triangular to find our diagonal matrices. This is the only matrix that is both upper and lower triangular, so it is the only diagonal matrix. All of the other ones are not diagonal matrices since they at most only satisfy one of the upper or lower triangular conditions. In the comments below, let me know. Is a square matrix with all zeros considered an upper triangular, lower triangular, or diagonal matrix? If you found this content helpful, consider subscribing, commenting, or liking the video to support my channel. I'm Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.